Athens, London, Paris, or Timbuktu, Constantinople or Sevastopol, Vienna, Naples, or Tlingatabu, of Copenhagen, Madrid, Kilbegan, are the capital of the Russian Tsars. They're all inferior to the vast superior and gorgeous city of Mullingar. That fair metropolis so proud and populous adorns the regions of sweet West Mead. That fertile county which nature's bounty has richly gifted with bog and heat. Them seen so charming and snipes a swarming attract the sportsmen from near and far. And whoever wishes can catch fine fishes in the black hole near to Mullingar. I could stray forever by Brosnes River and watch its waters in their sparkling fall. And gander swimming and lightly skimming o'er the crystal bosom of the Royal Canal. And on Thursdays wander mid pigs so tender and geese and turkeys on many a car. Exchange and pleasantry with the fine bald peasantry that throng the markets of Mullingar. You do it very well. E9 inspire me and with rapture fire me to sing the buildings both old and new. The splendid courthouse, the spacious workhouse, the church and steeple that adorn the view. There's a barracks area for the military, where the bravery pours from the toils of war. Five schools, a nunnery, and a tribe and tannery in the gorgeous city of Mullingar. The railway station, with admiration, I next must mention in terms of praise. Where trains are rolling and engines howling, strike each beholder with wild amaze. And then there's Main Street, that broad and plain street, with rows of gas lamps to shine afar. I could speak a lecture on the architecture of the gorgeous city of Mullingar. Ye men of genius, contemporaneous, approach spontaneous the favorite spot, where good society and a rich variety of entertainment is yet their lot. The neighboring quality for hospitality and conviviality unequaled are. And have we great crack with the fly here now in the gorgeous city of Mullingar. Now, in conclusion, I'll make allusion to the lovely females that there abound. Celestial creatures with angels features and tapered ankles that skim the ground. But this suspends me, my theme transcends me, my muse's powers are too weak by far. It would take Catullus, likewise Tibullus, to sing the praises of Mullingar. Ginny!